What is up everyone? Alyssa here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to go over one of the most used period products or I should say companies of period products in the world and how it could be slowly killing you. Side note, I am filming this video as a thunderstorm is about to begin so you might hear thunder, rain, and also my dog's panting because they hate that stuff. I am gonna follow up, the next video on my channel is gonna be going over different things that you can use to help your period or your menstrual cycle. So I'm gonna go over things like tampons, pads, cups, discs, all that kind of stuff. But today we're gonna kinda just talk about tampons and pads. I feel like those are the most common used products. They're fast, they're easy, they're quick to get, easy to use. So anyway, the company I'm gonna be talking about today, not trying to bash them, but just trying to shed light on the fact that a huge company that many of you may know about could be hurting you. That company is Tampax. I spent my time researching every ingredient that they put into their tampons and most of these ingredients are also in their pads and what it can do or what effect it can have on your body if you're using that. So you have to remember this is going up our hoo-hahs you guys. This is going into our bodies and staying there for a long period of time. So I'm going to read to you what ingredients are in their tampons and what they can do to your bodies and every ingredient I'm listing may or may not also be in their pads, so just keep that in mind. Also, even though a pad isn't being inserted inside your body, it's still against your body and can still affect your hormones and have all of these disgusting effects I'm about to talk about right now. 18.33 million women use Tampax in the year 2020, which is why I chose that company to use. It's actually the very first tampon I ever used when I got my period at 13 years old. I'm gonna read from my notes and we're just gonna run through this. The ingredients are rayon, which is made from wood pulp that's chemically converted to cellulose, so chemicals right there. It emits toxic substances that causes nausea, headaches, vomiting, chest and muscle pain, or insomnia. I've experienced all these, not just using tampons, but just in my life. Also, non-organic cotton. So if anything says cotton, it's not organic. And if it's not organic, they're using pesticides and fertilizers when they grow this cotton, sometimes even bleach to make it look whiter. That's disgusting. Third is polypropylene. This is made of phylates and BPA, which causes cancer, asthma, hormone imbalances, and reproductive problems. Now, if something's gonna cause a hormone imbalance or reproductive problem, and you're shoving it up your vagina, I mean, let's put two and two together here, people. This is not good stuff. Next, we have glycerin and polythylene. These are not known carcinogens, and all the research I did on them didn't really say that if you had uh, put them inside your body, you're gonna have detrimental health effects. So I wanted to put that in there though. There, I did find two ingredients that don't necessarily, from my research, cause an immediate reaction. The next one is paraffin. So I went to cosmetology school and we used to use paraffin wax all the time during manicures. Now paraffin is a known carcinogen because it has the chemical benzene in it, which messes up your red and white blood cells and how they work in your body. Next we have etho, oh I gotta re-say this one. Ethoxylated fatty acid esters and PEG-100 stearate. These were created with carcinogen ethylene oxide process. So basically a process that causes cancer, all the chemicals that happen in the factories and then get input into your body are not safe. Lastly, we have titanium dioxide, which literally causes reproductive damage. And if you inhale it through sprays, so check your hairspray, your dry shampoo, uh, cleaners, anything like that, it can literally cause lung cancer. So all of these things are very, very not good. And the reason I wanted to bring this to, to your attention is because what these giant companies are, are just marketing geniuses. They make you feel like you're choosing the right option between the price, the ease of getting the product, and maybe they even say that the ingredients are safe. When I really, literally went to tampax.com, this is where I got the ingredient list from and what I'm reading to you now and all the research I did, they give you descriptions of each ingredient as if it's helpful for you. Like, oh, well this helps absorb, but it doesn't tell you that it's going to maybe give you a reproductive issue or cause cancer. So I don't understand why they don't do that. Oh wait, yes I do, because they want you to buy their product. Um, and then I also looked up what who Tampax is owned by, because if you haven't heard of the big 10, seven are companies that basically own all other companies. So Tampax is owned by P&G, and I'm gonna list off just a few, this is just a few, of other companies they own. So if you're confused as to why P&G would allow these kinds of ingredients to be in a product that's supposed to go inside of your body, maybe take a look to see if you're also using these companies as well. Here we go, Tide. 
Pampers, Head & Shoulders, Olay, Old Spice, Crest, Pantene, Dawn, Vicks, Always, Bounty. There are so many more that I can go over, but these are just some that I've heard of or have used in the past and no longer will. P&G is one of the big seven, Johnson Johnson, Coca-Cola, Pepsi. These are the ones I'm talking about that own other brands that we use. Lastly, I wanna let you know what I use for my tampons and my pads, and that's Cora. I love Cora because every time that you buy from them, they give back to a woman who menstruates in need. And the ingredients here, they actually list off what's in the tampon, what's in the string, et cetera, et cetera. So in the tampon is organic cotton, so there's no pesticides, no dioxins, no fragrance, no chlorine, no anything like that. And then poly, Thylene, which has no known carcinogens, and polyester fiber finish on the security veil. So this is not actually inside your body. It's hanging off on the bottom of the tampon. And then water repellent wax on the string. BPA-free applicator. So that little plastic applicator it has no BPA in it. I trust them. I love them. I'll put them in the link in the description. But basically, if this helped you at all, please go and send it to somebody else. Also that I'm going to add in the description is the reusable pads I use. Cora also has pads that you can use. Um, I think I have their liners as well. And their ingredients here are literally just organic cotton in the top sheet, which is great. Nothing, it has no dyes, no fragrance, no GMO, no chlorine. So none of that stuff is going on your vagine, which is nice. And this is what I get my reusable pads from. This is Charlie Banana. I love them. I'm gonna introduce them in the next video as well. But basically it comes in a little case. You snap them open and this is what they look like. I just rinse and wash every time I use. I absolutely love them. They come in different sizes. I hope this video helped. Please. Please, please, please comment if you have any questions. And like I said, you guys, this is just one company that I did research on. I used Playtex for years before I ever questioned what the hell I'm putting in my body. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.